fam. Happy Saturday. It's a Saturday after Thanksgiving, and Hubby and I are about to run in some stores and look around. Um, so I will see you there. I can still remember the first time that we fam so as you can see hubby and i stopped into best buy just to kind of gauge what they had and what the prices were looking like we're not black friday shoppers like we do mostly online or we just kind of regular shop um i did black friday years and years ago when it was considered you know exciting like you waited to go into the stores i remember doing it years ago with my mom when we actually had fun now it just doesn't feel the same so you know we catch the online sales plus they like put things on sale online so often that you don't even have to worry about black friday so anyway i am just in awe of the updated electronics you guys like the things that they're doing with computers and laptops and monitors it is just crazy um so i was actually looking because i have i think i might have like a 19 inch or 20 inch screen for my computer and my goal is to upgrade to a 27 inch to do my editing so just make it a little more fun i love the computer i have nothing wrong with it but your girl wants a 27 inch so i was kind of eyeing those and seeing you know the prices for them of course they'll be different because this is a sale but just to kind of gauge what was out there so we did have a lot of fun looking around at what they had and got some cool ideas for christmas gifts fam you know i have been on this mission decluttering cleaning and everything i don't know if it's for the new year i don't know if it's because you know you get that little bug and you'll go behind and want to do everything i started with just trying to clean the bottom area of the stove i did make um i think it was french fries or something that the bag opened so there were some french fries and um that fell and spilled into the bottom um pull out part of that stove so i was going to pull that out plus there's like crumbs and some stuff in there i don't know how it gets in there but when i pulled that out i saw the size that i'm scrubbing right now and i thought oh my gosh these are disgusting and filthy so i'm going to go ahead and scrub them and now i'm going to take these baking pans out of the bottom and get that cleaned up you guys i used um I want to say oven cleaner on this stove and I do plan to get a brand new stove and I will never use oven cleaner again because it messed up the sheen it just did so much to this stove that I, I'll just use soap and water next time but anyway I'm getting the bottom part wiped out and you guys one thing led to another and led to another as you can see I started spraying the other side and then i looked up and saw all the dust on the inside of the door inside outside of the oven door and <laughs> you know one thing led to another and i said to myself i wonder what's behind the stove and i was completely horrified you guys like huh like what is that and how did i miss like a big aluminum 
top like where did that go like how long has that been there you guys there is so much crap back there like how does it even get there and uh, you guys i was mortified and i think the last time we were there we were trying to regrout there's just there's just it's just a mess and i cannot live with that so here we go i'm gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up y'all i even found some benadryl back there from uh, i the bottle opened and you know what i remember the bottle opening and me saying i don't have the strength to go behind the stove and i was going to have hubby do it when he got home and i totally forgot and there it is that had been must be months you guys two or three months ago but anyway neither here nor there we're going to get this space cleaned up and <laughs> what a transformation Like I said, one thing led to another. I saw the sides of the cabinet and the back of the stove and I thought, oh my God, I have got to wipe that down as well. Then I got a knife and start chiseling away at whatever grout or um, tile cement, whatever that was on the cabinets. I just had to get that clean. You guys, that little where the gas line is, I got up in there and scrubbed that out. And then you guys will see, I kind of blocked the way so there's not much footage. Y'all, I was into it, totally forgot about the camera, but I pulled the stove out and you'll see a brief clip of all the dust on the actual side of the stove. So you guys, this is all getting clean and taken out. And this is your reminder, if you have not pulled out your stove to see what's behind it, you might wanna do so. It may not be as bad as what you see here, but maybe you might be in for a surprise. You might say to yourself sister queen rose why didn't you stop here well y'all i couldn't how in the heck does anything get behind this glass on the oven like what how does it get behind there i am totally baffled it is screwed in it should not be able for anything to penetrate through it but yet it does there were streaks on the other side it looked awful to me and i cannot stop halfway so yes your girl pulled the front of the stove off i do not recommend it unless you are fully aware and capable of putting it back yes it took me a minute i could not remember where the glass actually sat on the stove so i took that thing apart my only goal was to get it scrubbed and clean and i didn't pay attention to anything else i was able to finally to put it back but y'all it took a minute
all right you guys saw so where does this dirt come from you guys like why is that an area that even gets dirty anyway your girl got it i'm super happy i will be going back in there once again because i feel like it still has streaks and i am just crazy like that it's going to bug me it looks absolutely beautiful in the end but i feel like it could be better i hope you guys got some motivation from watching your girl just act a little bit crazy and get some deep cleaning done and I will see you guys in the next one.